Well, now that people are slowly leaving behind their sweats and pajama bottoms and takeout containers at home and are getting dressed and going back out to restaurants, you might notice that some got a little too comfortable at home and might need to fine tune their night out. Take this uh, wine glass. Is there a correct way to hold it? Should be like this or should be like this. What about this napkin right here? Huh? Our Kyla Peoples turned to a professional to find out. With months being at home most of the time, some things have gone out the window. Like the pants you wear to work. Or taking your dinner out of a takeout container. Now that we're heading back to the office or the restaurants, another thing that might need refining are our manners. I met with Danielle Kavakovich, founder of Detroit Academy of Etiquette. She's been teaching the basics and updated versions of manners for a while. About a year and a half ago, decided to open my own company that not only has the corporate component, but also has um, children. It's, it's, there's a lot of new information that people just don't know that can really help them polish up their skills. So when you know how to do all of this and have you know good etiquette, you can focus on business and you can focus on relationships. Some people might find learning etiquette a little stuffy, but she doesn't think that it is. Well, you know, it's funny because a lot of people, when they hear what I do, they say, isn't that old fashioned and outdated? And I believe it's more important than ever. It's still very important. I asked Danielle to remind us of some manners that we could use going back to work or out on the town. Here are some of the things she taught me. The napkin is, you know, used throughout the meal. If you have to step away, you would um, put it on your chair, or at the end of the meal, you would fold it um, neatly next to the left of your plate. Oh, so you don't put it on top, you put it to the left. You do, when yes, it does not ever go back on the plate. Same thing with silverware. Once silverware touches your mouth, it never goes back on the plate sitting. It stays on your plate. The way to drink wine elegantly is to hold it at the stem. And the lower you go on the stem, the more elegant. Practice that at home though, because it's a little tricky. <laughs> and um, you never want to hold the bowl, because what happens is you can actually warm the wine and it puts, gets fingerprints all over the bowl. So always holding it at the stem. And then when you drink, you just want to glance down slightly instead of like looking around when you drink. So it's a slight glance down. You can actually communicate with your silverware with your, the staff. If you are just taking a break, you want to take your silverware and cross it, which means, let's say you, um, you know, this means I'm taking a break. Do not clear it when it's crossed like this. Now, if you're finished, one thing you can do is you put them parallel, and you can either have the tines of the fork facing down or up. That doesn't matter. Um, but this lets your server know that they can clear your plate. Wow, I learned quite a bit. Oh, and I thought I had pretty good manners. You do, you do, oh, you I for sure do. That. Well, <laughs> cheers to you yes, for teaching you. proper manners. Cheers. Danielle offers classes to anyone who wants to brush up on their etiquette skills, and you can sign up for her classes on the Detroit Academy of Etiquette website. And cheers to you. Tati, I have a confession. I have a, I have a bad habit. When, it's like an OCD thing. When we're out to dinner, I bust my own table like, oh. to get the, the dirty plate you know, like, away from you. Yeah, exactly. I got you.